Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back. Another nice fall night here in Middle Georgia. This looking out right now on the 41 Sky View from Piedmont Macon Medical Centers overlooking downtown Macon this evening. We have been seeing a pretty quick cool down thanks to some dry air across the area, but also still see some breezy conditions. Winds gusting right now at 20 miles per hour down in Abbeville, 13 miles per hour in McCray and seeing those 7 mile per hour wind gusts over in Roberta. We are expecting to see those winds really pick up through the day for tomorrow. So just a heads up on that as you are heading out the door. But check out these temperatures from today. 74 degrees, our high temperature 53. Today is where we started out our day. So definitely on the cooler side for our start. 61 right now in Macon, 62 in Atlanta and seeing 53 up in Knoxville. So we're going to stay mainly in the 60s for the next couple of hours or so before we fall into the mid 50s overnight tonight. But if those winds continue to stay where they are, we could actually see a warmer evening. Taking a look down into Florida, this is where all eyes have been pretty much all day. We are continuing to see the center of circulation starting to break up a little bit. So this is still a hurricane. It's still a strong storm. We're continuing to see that heavy rain right now working its way a little bit closer to places like Orlando, which I showed you at the top of the show. But this is going to make its way across and should be in the Atlantic by tomorrow. So latest on Hurricane Ian, this is our 11 p.m. update. 90 mile per hour sustained winds gust up to 115 miles per hour and moving still pretty slowly at around 8 miles per hour. So this will continue that threat for some flooding from the rainfall out there today as well as some storm surge that we'll start to see kicking up into areas of coastal Georgia and into South Carolina. As far as the latest track, this is good news for us. We continue to see that little bit of an eastward shift, and that's going to take more of those impacts away from middle Georgia. So you take that closer look as we're heading into tomorrow. This is by around 8 p.m. We'll start to see that tropical storm getting a little bit closer to the Georgia coast, and then likely sometime during Friday, very slowly, we'll see it make its way on to land probably somewhere in South Carolina before it heads back further to the north. So this should not be a huge issue for us as we are heading into the weekend. Some good news there. Now look at one of our options as far as the model data showing us what we're expecting to see for tomorrow. Like I said, expecting to see that system making its way into the Atlantic. That's going to be continuing to interact with this area of high pressure to our north, which is going to result in some pretty gusty winds. We call that gradient winds. It's where the high pressure is kind of just sending all that air down to the low pressure, and we could see some gusts up to 40 miles per hour through tomorrow afternoon. Now, this particular model will be sending that center of circulation into areas of South Carolina. You can see how far away that's going to keep the rainfall from our area. So a lot of us could actually end up completely dry as we are heading into the end of the week. It will still be windy though. Now another one of the models that we use, this is the European model. This one would bring in that landfall maybe a little bit closer to places like Savannah or the Carolina and Georgia border. That would bring us a little bit more in the way of that rainfalls we're heading into Friday. So I want you to be ready for either one of those options to happen. It really doesn't change a whole lot of our impacts other than the rain. So for tonight, Temperatures will continue to drop into those middle 50s eventually by tomorrow morning. However, we will start to see the winds really picking up through the rest of the day. Highs only getting into the low 70s for your day on Thursday. Our winds throughout the day will be getting up to around maybe 40 mile per hour wind gusts. We will continue to see that as a threat into Friday as that system works its way onto its second landfall. But as we're moving into Saturday, winds should start to really calm down, especially Saturday afternoon. So we've got two really windy days on the way, kind of regardless of where we see that center of circulation. As far as the rainfall is concerned, this is with that system getting maybe a little bit closer to middle Georgia. We could see up to three, maybe four inches of rainfall in our area closer to the coast. Going to see a better chance for some heavy rain. And like I said, I think maybe to the west of I-75, some of us don't even see any rainfall. Some of us could stay completely dry through this whole thing. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75, exit 187 in Forsyth. That's VolumeChevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. We are going to see temperatures hanging out in the low 70s through the rest of the week and into the weekend. Staying windy all the way through Saturday, of course, as Ian makes its way near our area. We will see a warm-up as we head into next week back into the upper 70s by next Wednesday.
For weather updates on the go, download the 41NBC AccuWeather app and follow 41NBC on Facebook and Twitter.